Hi, Trinity. Last week, many of you picked up baby bottles to support Caring Network of DuPage, who in turn provide care and resources for women with unplanned pregnancies who choose life for their babies. Please fill those bottles with coins, paper money, or checks. Bring them back next week. If you'd like to participate, you can still pick up a baby bottle in the lobby. Just bring it back by next week. We're collecting pictures of veterans in uniform to use at our November 11th Veterans Day services. You can email electronic photos to Rajin Liss or drop off hard copies, which we'll scan and return to you. Doesn't matter if you or your loved one is a war veteran or maybe even a peacetime TV audio specialist sort of veteran. If you served, we'd love to have your picture. Our Sunday school could use a couple more teachers. If you're a high school student or adult with a heart to teach children about Jesus, please contact Erica Davies of our Child and Family Ministry or Jim Ebert, our Sunday school superintendent. Hey, speaking of Erica, here she is with another message about trunk or treat. I wonder who she is this week. Uh, Erica, what are you doing? Oh, um, I didn't see you there. I was just inspecting the trunk or treat candy. It tastes, I, I mean, it looks delicious. I'm getting so excited for this event. I can't wait two whole weeks to eat candy. I'll starve to death. But I know, I know, it'll be worth the wait. In fact, I'm gonna get so much candy, I won't know what to do with it all. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I should invite some friends to Trunk or Treat to share the candy with me. That's a great idea. You should all invite friends too. This is a great opportunity to introduce your friends to our church home. Tell them to join us on October 28th from 12.30 to 2 p.m. We will have games, prizes, hot dogs, and lots of candy. Tell them to get their free tickets by clicking this link. I can't wait. See you guys there. Hi, Trinity. I'd like to introduce you to our new music teacher, Mrs. Katie Wells. Welcome, Mrs. Wells. Thanks, Emily. What classes are you teaching? I'm teaching classroom music for preschool through eighth grade. Do you have any other musical responsibilities at Trinity? Well, I've actually just assumed responsibility of directing Gloria Day, the adult choir. That's impressive. What are your musical interests outside of Trinity? I'm a section leader for the Elgin Master Chorale, which is a 100-person chorus out in the Fox Valley. And we uh, sing for the Elgin Symphony occasionally, and I also really love musical theater. That's awesome. Now, I have a few more personal questions for you, if you don't mind. Sure. What's your favorite fast food? Hmm, Chick-fil-A. I could eat you seven times a day. Eat more chicken. Thanks, Mrs. Wells. Have a great year at Trinity. Thanks, you too. Thanks, Emily and Katie. If you love to sing and are high school age or older, Gloria Day has a place for you. Just show up in the music room on Thursday at 7 p.m. and Katie and the choir will welcome you. Hi, Trinity. It's me again, Brenda Connolly, your friendly clinic coordinator. Just a reminder to mark your calendars for this year's community clinic, which will take place here at Trinity on Saturday, November 10th. This event is a free clinic for area residents who are in need. It's an outreach event to support the community by striving to meet human needs in Christ's name. Professionals will be on hand to provide free medical, dental, and vision screening along with food, clothing, haircuts, family photos, comfort dogs, and companionship. Last year, we served 535 guests. Hundreds of volunteers are needed to make this a successful day. Volunteer registration will begin next week. Watch for an email with all the details. Volunteer training sessions will also be offered. Also, I hope you are all cleaning out your closets. We will begin accepting clothes donations on Saturday, November 3rd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We accept gently used clothing free of rips, tears, and stains. Coats and shoes are also needed. Collection boxes will also be available in the church lobby from November 4th through the 8th. I hope you will consider getting involved in some way. Believe me, it is such a rewarding experience being the hands and feet of Jesus.